So we're about two weeks um, uh, away from our map um, points for these angelfish uh, fry, and um, they've been doing good for you know uh, raising them artificially. Um, we've been cleaning them out, um, you know, changing about si um, 16 ounces of water with a uh, uh, drinking water bottle, cleaning out the bottom. However, we're still losing five to ten um, each day between the uh, two. Um, water changes we're noticing, you know, a few dead ones here and there, and I mean, we're keeping the water quality clean, we're feeding them well. Um, I think I've come to the decision that um, this, it's just too small of a container to have 100 plus of them in. So I'm going to be moving half, maybe, um, up into a five gallon um, upstairs. It's going to grow a tank for a while now. Um, got piece of uh, wood in here, which you can't really see very well. Um, a bunch of moss, java, fern. Um, got just one sponge filter, pretty small, uh, that we're just doing. That's the only filtration we're doing. Um, and we've been keeping some lumi up here. It's um, been a pretty established tank. Um, as you can see, these parameters are uh, really good, actually, um, for a tank, or for an established tank. There is one uh, possible downside to this plan, and that is that when we move them over, since we're using bottled water to uh, change out uh, the uh, container of water down there, uh, there's a possibility that since that water's really soft and this water's a bit harder because it's actually in a tank, um, they might all die off because of the pH difference and the water hardness difference. But and, I mean, you have to take risks in doing this, um, and I think. If we are able to keep them alive in here, then we'll definitely get our points. So I'm now going to catch the fry and move them up. Now I'm just going to be using a little uh, cut piece here of our water bottle uh, to catch them. Now the reason I'm not going to move all of them up into the five gallon um, is because, say, maybe this batch that we leave in here survives, but the other up here crashes. Um, it's just better to have you know two um, strains going. That way, if one doesn't uh, go well, then you still have your others to try to get your points up. Um, so I'm going to try to catch maybe about half, still leave a good bit in here. Um, and, uh monitoring them, um, feeding them of course, you know, water changes, um, and uh, we'll give you guys an update here in about a week. Um, it looks like they've already settled in pretty well, so we're around the tank, look pretty happy. I think they'll do pretty well in here, um, but now I have some words from a future voice of the show. Well, I'm going to tell you what different colors if these are yucky or good different fish. So if the blue might be yucky or good, but the angelfish have a lot of plants to hide in, and up here too, so and they can even camouflage over by the sponge filter. See these really tiny dots? Those are the babies who are wiggling. You can see their eyes, but their eyes are too tiny, but you can only see them. Their faces are white and their body and the back of them is black. And they don't have fins yet. Their fins might be like microscopic, you see. And up here, if they go into the leaves, you can't even see them. 